Now the last thing we want to do is create a button over here that's going to start the video at a specific point during the video. So this is a two-step process. The first step is we need to create some kind of a destination point similar to what we did for the maps and the movie trailer page. So InDesign gives us a really nice way to do this. Let's click on the video. Let's bring up the media panel. Inside of InDesign, we have a way to add navigation points to the Swift file so that when it loads the video, the Swift file is listening to the video to see when these particular navigation points are hit. And these are all based on time. So what I want to do is create a link that's going to link to one of the actors in the movie. So we'll, we'll pick uh, Denny Hoarder. Let's play our video. And this particular actor comes up at about 49 seconds. Scrub this over a little bit. Reversed. Lines are crossed and double crossed. Passions flare. There's his name, Denny Hoarder. So I'm going to come back a second or two before that happens, crossed. about right here. We're going to come down to the navigation points, and I'm going to click New Navigation Point. We're going to give it a name, name it Denny, hit return. Now we have a navigation point that InDesign is listening to for this particular video. Let's come up to our buttons panel. Let's turn this into a button. On release, we're going to say play Denny as the name. The action we're going to add is video. We're going to play the same video as the play button did. The option here is going to be play from a navigation point. Once we select that, InDesign will then go and check the media elements throughout all of the videos we have imported, check all the navigation points that are being listened for, and allow you to select that from a list. Here, Denny is the only one we've assigned. It's at a rollover state.